What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. We're here continuing with our Timberwolves, or not our Timberwolves, our NBA draft rebuilds. Yesterday we did DeAndre Hunter Wizards. That video didn't really go as I planned, so I'm hoping to bounce back today. And uh, we're going to be drafting Romero Langford. I know some of you guys commented uh, for me to draft Brandon Clark. Uh, I kind of already made a thumbnail for Romero Langford, did a jersey swap for it and all that, so... Uh, I'm gonna just stick with Romero Lang for today. Sorry, but uh, I'll put Brandon Clark in the next poll uh, I think I might just draft Bull Bull for the Hornets, but uh, we'll see I'll probably let you guys vote as well, but uh, let's go ahead and of course draft Rome Rome Romeo Romeo Langford I want to say Romero every time but Romeo Langford obviously so for the 11th pick We're gonna be taking Romero Langford 19 years old out of Indiana um, I heard a, I've heard a lot of question marks about this guy that some people think that his heart's not in it sometimes and that's gonna fit very well next to Andrew Wiggins because Andrew Wiggins could mentor him no I'm just kidding but anyway uh, we'll see how he does on this game hopefully it goes well I don't remember I don't know if we had another pick did we yeah we have a second rounder so I'll go ahead and um, send to next user pick and uh, while I'm here I actually uh, there was somebody that commented that wanted me to take Admiral Schofield in the second round So I'm gonna take him because I know some people have been uh, preaching me to do that and we'll, we'll roll with that So uh, liking that a lot and uh, so we got Rome Romeo Langford I want to see Romero every time it's Romeo and we took Admiral Schofield in the second round uh, Or however you say it uh, 70 overall so uh, player options sign both of them and then we'll go ahead with team player options Jeff Teague accepts his $19 million. I believe he did that in real life already as well. So uh, no shocking there. Tyus Jones. I think I would like to bring him back just to have him as a solid backup point guard. Negative $9.40 million. Obviously, this uh, team is heavily invested into their future with Wiggins and Towns. Uh, Wiggins, um, I think it's a contract that's tradable in a way. But at the same time, I feel like it isn't. You're going to have to find a really desperate team. Not Maybe not desperate, but maybe a team that's willing to... Hopefully see if Wiggins can turn out to be something on their team, but uh, I'm not sure man Wiggins is definitely gonna be interesting And I know some people are probably gonna want me to bring back Derrick Rose on this team I'm probably not going to I think I'm gonna just run with the young guys gotta let the young guys get some minutes I know Jeff Teague is 31 years old and uh, believe me I don't want him here, but he did accept that and then Gorge Dang's contract doesn't help at all either Man, Robert Covington's getting up there as a veteran, but like I said, I think I'm going to try to roll with the young guys. So I do apologize if you guys want to see me resign Derrick Rose. I won't be doing it in this video. I feel like Derrick Rose is going to head somewhere else. You may disagree. That's fine. But Jeff Teague, like I said, is our point guard right now. We have Romeo Langford, Josh Okogie, and Admiral Schofield. We have Robert Covington and Andrew Wiggins. I think I'll eventually maybe use either Robert Covington or Andrew Wiggins in a trade. One of them is going to go by the end of the video. I promise you that. And then Darius Sarge. I like Darius Sarge as a power forward. But I do understand the defensive side of things um, where Tom Thibodeau didn't want to play Dario Sarge in the starting five too much because of his defense next to Carlton Towns. But I do believe Towns could become a decent defender uh, eventually and uh, Dario Sarge would be fine next to him. And then maybe Dario Sarge can be somewhat decent. But as far as anything is concerned in this free agency, I really don't think I'm going to be doing a whole lot this year. Obviously, Jeff Teague is a big uh, question mark. He's probably not going to be here after this season but i'm gonna go ahead and probably i could we, we could resign tyus jones but uh i'm just curious if there's any better options maybe i could look for but i'll probably just end up resigning tyus jones just because why not he's already been uh in the timberwolves for a while so i'll go ahead and give him a two-year deal and then uh we'll give tyus jones what else could we use uh probably a backup shooting guard as well because uh, i know that i'm probably gonna send both my backups to the g league uh let's go with like i guess Let's go with like, go with like J.R. Smith off the bench. KCP, I'll sign KCP off the bench. So sign those two, and then uh, what else could we use? Let's get let's get Jimmy Butler back on this team. That would make Wiggins and Jimmy Butler so happy. Sarge, uh, I'm gonna use Gorgie Dang as a backup center for now because I really don't have a choice. Uh, his contract's so awful. I will try to maybe eventually trade it, but let's sign a backup power forward as well and then i think we should be good maybe a defensive minded for uh power forward i don't know if there is such a thing out here right now uh alfred camino i mean is somewhat defensive minded chuck diallo so i guess i'll go aminu off the bench for a couple seasons and we'll sign all three of these guys so really i didn't think this season was gonna be much of anything uh but next season we'll probably get a little bit more aggressive and remember guys this isn't the chicago or the minnesota timber bulls anymore this is uh the Timberwolves 
you guys know what i'm saying probably not but uh jeff t goes down and overall and no one else does as well so no one does uh we definitely i definitely hope we have a good trainer ever since i did this staff and i made all the head coaches the same i never have a good trainer at the start of this uh video on the start of these videos because obviously i can't go back and change it and i think all the trainers are all scooped up by now all the good ones anyway well let's load a 2020 draft class and bam and training camps how many we have one training camp that's so annoying untapped potential i guess we'll throw it at romeo langford because i mean he is the title of the video so we might as well try to get him into development uh and then wiggins they want wiggins to come off the bench i question whether that's a good move or not or uh we have ryan saunders as our head coach he is the head coach in real life we have jeff teague romeo langford robert covington aminu starting at the power forward carl anthony towns andrew wiggins off the bench Dario Sarge, george dang kcp so our bench is not that bad at all. What is a Kogi? He is 6'4", and he's got three years left in his contract, and Schofield has about probably one year. Uh, no, he has about four years season. So probably going to send both of them to the G League, like I said, and uh, maybe one of them could maybe eventually be moved to small forward. Um, I don't really like the idea of having Wiggins come off the bench because, I mean, he is like being paid a sh just a ton of money. So probably not going to do that. Probably won't go that route. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, probably make Wiggins the starter. Nine-man rotation. Let's let's make Covington come off the bench. And then we'll send Wiggins. What? Okay, I think let's fix that again. So Covington, I do like Covington quite a bit, but he's going to be coming off the bench. Uh, as a six-man, we got Towns, Aminu. Or could we play a small ball lineup where we have Covington and Wiggins start together? I think that might be a little too small, though. How tall is Wiggins, anyway? He is 6'8". 6-9. You know what? No, we're going to do it. We're going to run the power forwards. We're going to run Robert Covington in the starting five. Uh, hopefully that works out fine. I'll probably uh, throw Aminu's minutes down a little bit to like 20 or maybe not even 19. We'll do the 19. Dario Saric, uh, let's give him about like 28. And let's give uh, Langford a little bit more minutes. Let's give Wiggins a little bit more minutes. And I think I'll call that good. So hopefully this season goes well. Obviously, uh, we're going to be running our offense through Carl Anthony Towns quite a bit. So I guess I'll leave it at whatever it was because it was three star and then I'll probably make towns the first option other than that We'll just see where this goes. So still like this first full season not really expecting a whole lot Might trade Jeff Teague for like some picks at uh, by the trade deadline just because he, he I'm not planning on resigning him But we'll see what happens. So uh, let's see how this first season goes at the end of the first season We went 40 and 42. We didn't make the playoffs, which you know what? That's not bad. Not bad at all 40 and 42. I'm kind of glad we're gonna slip in the lottery but then when I thought about it, I don't even know if we have, have our first round pick. And if we don't, that's going to suck because that's why I was glad we were in the lottery. But then I realized I don't think the Timberwolves had their first round pick next year. I could be wrong, but I believe we don't. But let's go ahead and just check, I guess. Um, maybe we do. It, it, actually, we do. Okay, so we're projected the 13th pick. But we all know in real life, you could jump up big. So let's hope we just... Okay, no, we stay at 13. Okay, the Bulls have the first pick. Uh, that's the first time the Bulls will be picking at number one in a while because, you know, they've uh, had seven pick. So why did Ryan Saunders go somewhere? He was like my head coach and now he's gone. Uh, and he was on like a four-year deal. I don't know where he went. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and just fire my whole staff. So, uh, and we don't, oh wait, I'm just, I was like, and there's no good trainers. So let's try to get him. Let's try to get a good head coach, obviously. Jacob Underwood. Michael Stoffer would go with a pace and space. I think I always hire him. I know, but you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it again. So assistant coach Owen Taylor would go get him. Let's try to sign at least all these guys. And he declines. Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's try to get team budget. What? Why do we not have a budget? What do you mean? We only have like 60 K to spend. Did I just like spend all my money on one coach? Um, excuse me. What is going on here? I literally it says I have no money okay guys I have no idea what's going on I I have no idea so what is our staff looking like we have a terrible trainer why did it say I have like no money I guess I gave Stoffer all the money in the world so I do apologize if I'm just dumb and just like gave all my money up uh whatever that sucks really bad but we got the 13th pick and a second round pick so uh I question whether we could we should attach this 13 pick with Gorgie Dang to get rid of his contract. I think that's what I'm going to do because I want to try to get aggressive in this free agency. 
So I think I want to try to get rid of this first round pick. And Isaiah Thomas off the bench. Terrence Ross. You can never have enough shooting. And his canter. Uh, Firkin Cork match. Michael Green. First round pick. Rudy Gay. Uh, I think I'm going to get Terrence Ross. Yes, I know some people are going to say... Actually, you know what? No, we're not. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're just going to trade Gorgie Dang straight up. He is an expiring. So we're going to attach like a second round pick to it and call it good. Lakers cannot give me a first round pick for this guy. They're going to attach our second round pick and take Jordan. Oh, wait a minute. He makes quite a bit of money for... You want to get Taj Gibson back? The Raptors want to give me a first round pick? Uh, Let's take... I guess we'll take Noah's Noel off their hands. So, Gorgie Dang for Noah's Noel swap. And I'll throw in my second rounder in a couple more. Uh, let's two, do two seconds so that make this trade a little bit more realistic. And then uh, let's go with that 13th pick overall. And let's see what we can select here. Um, I'm thinking of a power forward, hopefully. RJ Hampton. Perfect point guard replacement. Let's go. Let's take RJ Hampton because we weren't going to have a point guard. So, I'm glad I did not trade my first round pick now. So, we got RJ Hampton. All the way at number 13. Holy moly. Okay. So glad we did not trade the first round pick because I would have been upset. Uh, actually, I probably wouldn't even have known, but I would have missed out on a huge opportunity. So super glad we didn't trade it. Uh, Darius Arch is a restricted free agent. And then here is our salary cap table. Negative $44 million. Jeff T, get out of here. Tim Frazier. We still don't. Okay. I was about to say, we still don't have like any money. We still don't. I was really hoping to sign someone. I really want it and we are just swamped in money holy moly i thought getting rid of uh what's his face would look because i was hoping we could get pascal siakam i thought he would fit like perfectly here or negative 16 million dollars like i thought pascal siakam would fit here so well but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to afford him so we have rj hampton tyus jones uh josh akogi and kcp a lot of shooting guards here uh small forwards robert covington and andrew wiggins do I just trade Andrew Wiggins here? I didn't even show you guys the player stats. I just... Oh, yes, I did. Never mind. Yes, I did. But here are here they are again, just in case. Uh, do I trade Andrew Wiggins? Like, is that even a thing? And keep Robert Covington? Can we do that? I'm thinking about it. I really am. So, uh, let's see. What would I get? Because I want to go for... I really want to go for... We could replace the shooting guard. No, I want to start Ramiro, Ramiro Linkford. Uh, I like Robert Covington to start but you know what let's just see what wiggins could get us he's 25 years old i just want to i'm just curious because i don't know we could get Otto porter which doesn't help gordon hayward bobby portis i was really hoping to get pascal siakam and i thought we would, ha would have enough money but it doesn't look like it gary harris uh, i'm not really seeing a good trade to be honest we could take Derek favors off the bench but then we take patty mills huge contract so i'm in a bind here so now we're not going to be able to get pascal siakam so i guess we're going to have to just sign um let's move Ogi all forward or one of them he goes down what about he goes up so we'll move showfield to small forward and we'll have kcp and a co okay we definitely don't need kcp anymore so i'll probably trade kcp and showfield i'm gonna trade maybe covington i guess uh i don't really want to and then i'm gonna try to sign Dario sarge back i guess so we'll do that we'll trade robert covington and we'll trade kcp I don't know if this is going to free up any money. If, if it does, that would be great, but I'm not sure if it'll free up a whole lot. So I'm really just hoping to get like nothing in return, just like some first rounders maybe. Uh, or just, yeah, let's go with this trade, except for I don't want Josh Jackson. I just want your first round pick. And okay, I guess they have to give me Josh Jackson, but we'll go ahead and flip him right away, I guess. Uh, so let's take Josh Jackson off your hands and then we'll flip Josh Jackson for another first round pick because I don't want him. I really don't want Josh Jackson. I want all the money in the world right now. I'm gonna go for Pascal Siakam. So we can get a first round pick from the Spurs. I'll take a second rounder from someone. And okay, never mind, can't do that. All right, I'll just could take this first rounder from the Spurs. All right, okay. Got someone unrealistic there, but oh well. $13.50 million. If I renounce Dario Sarge, I might just have enough to get him. Is there anybody else I could trade? Aminu, probably gonna trade him as well because I'm going for Pascal because I just think he would fit so well in this team. Let's get Aminu out of here as well. Wait, Noah's the well. His big contract. Let's get... Okay. Actually, I'm going to try to keep Noah's well if I can. Hachimura. Hachimura. Uh, let's get another first rounder from the Spurs. Being unrealistic as hell here. So, um, I try to keep it somewhat realistic in these videos. $6.24 million. 
So as much as I don't want to do it, or I could just maybe trade no as well, or Tyus Jones. You know what? Tyus Jones. I'm going to trade Tyus Jones because he's not really doing anything anyway. So let's trade Tyus Jones because he probably won't be in the rotation anyway. And we'll get uh, a top. Just give me a second round pick for him because I just feel like I finessed way too many first round picks in this video already. So now we have $21.94 million. Hopefully I can get the free agent I want. Um, let's try our best to get him. 90 give him as much money as we can and uh of course i just traded all these players for no reason because he's gonna go ahead and accept an offer to the toronto raptors so congratulations to me you played yourself oh my gosh okay so we just wasted so much time just doing what i did and uh now we're gonna have to match dario sarge and of course we just totally missed out on my offseason plan so thanks a lot 2k um so whatever okay so i'm probably just gonna sign some simple one-year deals then we'll use that $20 million in next year's free agency. Sorry, I just wasted your time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the off season and I just think it's time to maybe move on from Wiggins. We're gonna be trading him to the Hornets, move up a spot and get Nikola Miritich as well. So we're gonna do this. We went 39 to 43. So that, you know, didn't really turn out that great, but we had the third pick overall. So you guys are probably wondering why the hell did we have the third pick? Uh, but we got the ninth pick from the Spurs as well. So we have two first rounders. And uh, when we look at how much money we're about to have, I think we're about to have like quite a bit. So that's good. Negative 8.20 million. But uh, I'm going to renounce Wiggins and we're going to have quite a money, bit of money to spend in free agency. But when it comes to all these two first round picks that I got, we got RJ Hampton. Reggie Jackson is going to be gone. So RJ Hampton, of course, is going to stay. We have uh, Josh Okoge and Romero, or Romeo Langford coming back. Uh, we definitely need a better. Well, I guess I could start Showfield if I wanted. Meritich and Sarge are good for now. I think I like both of them. And then the center spot is decent, obviously, or very good, obviously, with Towns there. And uh, really the small forward and maybe, yeah, maybe the small forward spot could in use an increase. So I'm wondering if we traded two first round picks, what we could get? Because that would actually be really cool, but I don't know if we'd be able to get anyone that great. So let's try for somebody like Insane real quick. We're probably not gonna be able to get anybody that crazy. It just never really happens in 2K. Let's get Wiggins back. Nah, LeBron James obviously is not gonna happen. Uh, Luka Doncic probably not gonna happen. Ingram probably could be get done, but I don't want to trade for Ingram. Jimmy Butler, I think that would work actually, or would it? We may never know, man. We may never know. DeRozan, we could got we could have gotten him. Paul George probably not gonna be able to get him. Wait. Oh, wait, he has no trade clause, so it doesn't even matter. So, uh, what about, what else could we get? Column, Paul George, Devin Booker. Uh, if Devin Booker was tall enough, I would do it, but uh, maybe there isn't a small forward out there. Obviously, probably can't get Kevin Durant, I figured. So, um, I guess I should maybe just draft here with this second round, second pick overall. So, we'll just do that. So, we'll just draft someone here, send to the next user pick. And what do we want out of this draft? So, we can take Scotty Barnes. Uh, I guess Scotty Barnes could be our starting small forward. Jalen Johnson. I guess I'll take Scotty Barnes here out of Oregon. And then we'll take another pick here. I kind of hate drafting in the last season, though, just because there's usually there's not a whole lot of rotation room. And uh, I don't know, man. It just, I just don't know. So I'll take Brian Antoine, I guess. And uh, we'll call that good. And now we took Scotty Barnes with the second pick. 78 overall. Might be a trade candidate. We'll see. And then qualifying offers, uh, Schofield, definitely want to bring him back, but Kia Bates D up, I don't really care. $5.79 million, we're going to renounce Reggie Jackson, Norris Noel, probably renounce like everybody besides Schofield, and I think we should be good. So we have $30.193 million. So when I look at the roster, RJ Hampton, Romeo Langford, Akogi, Brian Antoine's probably not going to get any minutes. Scotty Barnes is that small forward spot right now. He might be a trade candidate, like I said. Meritich and Sarge, so I'm definitely good with upgrading the forwards. I think I want to upgrade the forwards. That's my goal here. So let's see what we could get at the forward spot. So you got Otto Porter and John Collins. Or we could get Laurie Markkinen and Kyle Kuzma. So I think I'm going to go with Laurie Markkinen and Carl, or Kyle Kuzma here because I think it makes the most sense to try for one of them guys. So I'm going to go for Laurie Markkinen. I think I got him in the last video, but we're going to do it anyway. We'll get Markkinen. And then uh, probably we'll trade for a better small forward. So let's sign Markkinen. And then we'll trade for... Well, Markkinen was supposed to go to the Tim Wolves anyway. But, you know, they traded him for Jimmy Butler. So uh, I probably, like I said, I want to get Schofield back. Wherever he is. Where is my dude back? Uh, Kia Bates Diop. That's not who I want. I want Schofield. He'll probably be back on his qualifying offer though, right? Hopefully. Uh, it's not showing him. He's not out here. So, like I said, hopefully he'll be back on his qualifying offer. 
If not, I just took a major L, but you know what? We got marking in, so I'm cool. And of course, Shelfield's not back. So yeah, we just took an L, but that's okay. So when we look at the roster, RJ Hampton, shooting guards of Scott, spot's fine. Uh, wait, Shelfield's back. I did not give him that contract, but thank you 2K for signing him back. Uh, Sarge and Meritich, we definitely don't need both of them. So I'll probably sign or trade Meritich. And then, uh, well, yeah, we'll probably trade Meritich for like a decent backup center. $9 million. Uh, you know what? I actually you know what. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to make a big trade. Let's see if we can... Draymond Green. Off the bench. Just kidding. We're not doing that. Uh, let's just... Cool. We'll take him. And uh, I think we'll call that good. So, we'll get the RJ Hampton. Shooting guard spot's good. Uh, small forward. I'll start him. That's fine. And then mark it in. So, I think we're good. I think we'll roll with that. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this last season. Now let's see how it goes. Hopefully, we make the playoffs this last season. If not, I'm going to kill 2K and never play it again. So, this last season, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo winning MVP. Jalen Green is your rookie of the year. Sixth man of the year goes to Zach Levine. Anthony Davis is defensive player. And Malik Monk is your most improved on the Detroit Pistons, which Pistons could use some help like that right now. And then Nate Tibbetts wins coach of the year on the Memphis Grizzlies, probably because they have Zion or Ja Morant. So here's your NBA first team. Here's your NBA second team and NBA third team. We don't get a Carl Anthony Towns appearance, but that's okay. We did make the playoffs, which is what I wanted for this last season. We are the fourth seed, so that's a good, good way to end the video and a playoff appearance. So we had RJ Hampton, 21 points, 7 assists. Towns with 17 and 10 rebounds. Langford, 16 points per game. I think that's around what he averaged in college, so... I guess uh, pretty decent lower market in uh, 13 and a half. So let's see if we can upset, not really upset because we're the higher seed, but let's see if we can beat the Houston Rockets in the first round. We're up 1-0 to start. They evened it up with us and we're up 2-1. Can we go up 3-1? We do. Can we move on to the second round? Please, 2K, please. Okay, we do, but we get to face the Memphis Grizzlies. So let's see who they have. Let's see who they have for sure. I'm nervous, guys. What do they got? They have. Zion Williamson, just as I thought. So, it was a good run, guys. It really was. We made the second round, but it's probably an L here. I mean, Zion Williamson is super overpowered. Probably going to sweep us. And just like that, absolutely obliterated by Zion Williamson. Uh, whoever made this draft class, I like it a lot. But you made Zion Williamson so overpowered in this game. It's ridiculous. But you know what? Maybe he will be like that one day. I seriously doubt it, though. But we'll see. The 76ers, and we got the Grizzlies. Grizzlies, of course, you know, probably gonna win the championship here because of Zion. And no, they blow that three. Did they were up three? I don't know, man. But that's it for me, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. But this is Crushables. I'm saying peace.